Airborne LiDAR is a technology that was developed in the last 10 or 15 years, which involved flying a laser-based instrument in an aircraft at relatively low altitudes, and then fire laser pulses at the ground or, or other surface to produce a, a very high resolution model of the Earth's surface. It reveals to us a new image of the surface that we can't obtain in any other way. It takes our uh, previously blurry view of the Earth's surface and, and brings it really into sharp relief and sharp focus, which allows us to make fundamental advances in, in what that shape of the Earth tells us about geologic processes. With the help of the state of Texas, or the State Geological Survey, we purchased the most advanced LiDAR system in the world. It has five sensors. We can shoot an image down through water. Uh, we've flown the North Slope of Alaska last year and are collecting data now that gives you resolution that's at the inch by inch or a slightly larger scale from the air. So we're literally able to resolve the surface of the Earth at a, at a resolution space that's never been seen before. LiDAR has been used to detect archaeological sites beneath tree canopies. It's been used to predict flooding extent from tropical storms and, and rainfall events by having better models of the surface. Looking at sinkhole formations in places where you have cavities forming in the subsurface and then the land surface subsiding into those. Used it to precisely capture the shape of the Texas coast for both long-term uh, monitoring efforts of how the coast is changing over time as well as the impact of specific events like hurricanes and the erosion that those caused. You know, we're limited to how far we can wade into water with, with hand equipment and the ability to fly over it in a, a single flight and capture uh, the shape of the seafloor uh, near the beach. It's just an amazing thing. When you get advanced equipment like our airborne LiDAR system, which we also have ground-based LiDAR that we fuse together, that leads to partnerships. We partner with the USGS, we partner with DOE, we partner with uh, EPA, we partner with other academic institutions, we partner with industry. We have done work for the General Land Office, the uh, Texas Department of Transportation, then federal agencies as well, like the Department of Defense, National Engineering Technology Laboratory. The possibilities are really endless. The Jackson School is bringing together a bunch of different equipment to put on a single platform, an airborne lab, if you will, that's gonna let us collect a variety of measurements of the Earth and synthesize those and then address great challenges that we face, whether it be hazards or storms or earthquakes or volcanoes or sinkholes. We're gonna be out there. It allows the Bureau to achieve our mission, which is bringing industry, academia, and governments together around challenges so that each of those groups benefits from the results and the information that they need to inform decisions that help the broad public.